Hi everyone, Elise Lash Gordon, and I wanted to make a video series about my journey with breast cancer and my surgery because it's been a long time since I've done videos and I wanted to just show off a couple of things. First of all, this is my surgical bra and I'm going to explain what kind of surgery I had and why you're seeing what you're seeing. So, I chose to have a bilateral mastectomy with deep flap reconstruction. And what that means is that although I only have breast cancer in one breast, I choose to have both removed because I don't want to do breast cancer again. So now I have no breast tissue. The deep flap reconstruction is where the um, surgically cut um, right below your belly button and then right above like your pubic line and take all that skin and fat and turn it into boobs. And then they pull down that skin and reattach it and then make put your belly button like in the correct place. So that's the surgery that I chose to have. It's an intensely long surgery. It needs to be performed by a microsurgeon, not just any plastic surgeon. And the cool part about my surgery is that my breast surgeon was able to, and let me, so I, I'll get back to my breast surgeon in a minute, but I chose not to keep my nipples. I just, you may or may not have feeling, they may or may not be erect, and because nobody could really tell me what was going to look like after, I just decided, eh, Let's not keep those. So my breast surgeon was able to surgically cut around my areolas and do the entire mastectomy through that hole. The plastic surgeon then was able to insert all of that fat as well as skin into that hole and create these breasts. So they're still swollen, which is why you can kind of see around the areola. They're just kind of swollen in that area. They're swollen all over, rather. So that is the... Um, surgery that I chose to have. Uh, following surgery, I had three drains. I had one drain on each side of these new breasts, and I also had a drain uh, at the waistline, not the waistline, but I guess lower than that, where that incision was. So I had three drains, and the one at the waist was uh, had an extra large tube, which I thought was really interesting because they put it in a few places, and that's for draining fluids um, from the area so they don't get built up under your skin and in your body. And I chose this surgery uh, for a couple of reasons. Um, one reason is I don't like my belly. So I kind of figure as, I hate to put it this way, but as a gift to myself for having breast cancer, I'll give myself a tummy tuck because basically it's like a tummy tuck, but they're utilizing that fat and skin to make boobs out of it. If somebody does not have enough in their tummy area, they can take it from your legs, from your back, from all different types of places. So that is what I had. Also, what I learned about breast implants. So here's the thing. I was really excited to get breast implants because I was like, oh, I'll have perky boobs forever. These type of fat will act like regular breasts. You need to wear a bra. I mean, you don't need to if you don't want to. They'll sag, they'll droop, and as you get older, they'll droop even more. What I learned about breast implants is that they only last for 10 to 15 years. I'm 37 years old and I might need a few of those surgeries for replacements. What that means also is that I would get reminded every 10 to 15 years that I had breast cancer. So before I went into the hospital for surgery, um, we shaved my head one last time and I got a, henna, a beautiful, beautiful henna tattoo which really was amazing and helped to boost my confidence. So that is the surgery that I chose to have and what that looks like. And I'm going to, my next video will be more about, um, my hospital stay and post-op and what that looked like. So thanks for tuning in. See you the next time.